Great Council of Cats, please allow me to be in your presence. I brought you a gift. Here, uh, H. Slay H. No, 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 no. You please don't make me. Oh, no, 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 no. You meant help H. H. Yeah, I, I do agree. H is a little bit of a peasant. The, the box. Open the box. Okay. Aha. Uh Aha. -huh. Uh -huh. If if I have to. Only if I have to. Yeah, yeah, I, I don't really, I, I, yeah, you're right. I will make big bucks off of this one. Good point. Elise, welcome back. Minecraft to Guide episode 86. I can't believe it. Check this out, though. I've been busy in between episodes. This right here, that block, that was a grass block before. That one, too. And then this stuff was completely different. So I, I, I need to be clear. I need to come back and get some oak in there. And the path, it's a work in progress. It's not the best path in the world. But you have to admit, it is a path, right? Check this out. Look at it. It goes all the way past the Bee Kingdom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice. And then over here, right over to the brand new peasant shack. Our local peasant lives right in here. Our peasant, it is named H. H is right here. Today's episode is all about massive profit off of this peasant right here. It's going to be great. But before we can make that profit, we need to do a couple things. We need to turn this peasant into a zombie. Then Q or H, get it all good looking. Then we need to clear out a bunch of trees instead of a gigantic farm then we need to level the villager up even more to the maximum level today that's right all the way now uh today we're gonna set up a sweet berry farm actually i'll explain why in a little bit you well i won't even need to explain you'll get it soon uh the sweet berry farm though that i think we're gonna make a gigantic sweet berry farm today nothing too fancy just huge massive you know uh, that type of thing and then maybe we set up an automatic one later so the shack that we built last episode is right there you can see where the pigs are i'm thinking the sweet berry farm should be like diagonally behind the thing so we save room for like more buildings in this area kind of close to the storage building so like back this way and then like straight out that way i don't know how far it's straight that way maybe to like there i don't know and then over this way and this way so yeah basically we need to remove a gigantic chunk of the jungle like a huge amount of the stuff probably starting with like this tree uh yeah yeah definitely this tree over here <laughs> I don't know. We need to remove a lot. I don't exactly know what we have to take out, but we'll figure it out. So, sweet berries. We have a tiny sweet berry farm back over at the starter base. I actually really like sweet berries. Their harvesting mechanic is really, really cool. We can actually automate a sweet berry farm too, which is even more cool. We absolutely, 1000%, I know for a fact, we won't be making today's sweet berry farm automatic, but we could convert the thing that we built today over to a gigantic auto farm, our biggest auto farm in this whole world. Or, other option, we build a different automatic sweet berry farm later on. Either would work. So, yeah, I have a lot, a lot, a lot of trees to cut down. We, we have to remove so much of the jungle today. In fact, this is the most jungle that we're ever going to remove. Yeah, I feel bad about it, but at the same time, I kind of feel like this axe is slow, to be honest. It could definitely be faster. Uh, for sure. That's right, gamers. Today is the day. Finally, at long last, I've received so many requests for this move right here, but gigantic move. Ancient debris, one of you, you come with me and go over to the furnace. Yes, this is the most efficient use of my fuel. Don't worry about it. Three more ancient debris comes with me and gold. It, it pains me to hold this stuff. I don't like to touch it. I really don't like to touch it at all. I don't feel good. I'll have to wash my hands, but there we go. All right, so here we are over in the good old enchanting building. Love this place. Uh, right over here in the crafting bench. Another writing get beautiful over here. This thing, Axel Waddle. It's time. You've done well. You've done really well. I've known you for so long, and you've done me so well. You've been by my side for everything, through everything. Netherite. Yep, that should definitely help. That will absolutely speed this process up a little bit. Now, are we going to be able to instant mine things? I mean, we don't have haste over here, so probably not, but how quick? Oh, that's so quick. That is amazing. That is amazing. Honestly, if we put a beacon over here, maybe we can instant mine? Uh, maybe? I mean, I'm not going to have a tree farm over here, so I guess it wouldn't really matter. This wouldn't be the best spot for a beacon, but still, this is so cool. It's netherite, finally. Uh, now I just need the shovel and my other pickaxes and a better sword and, yeah, basically everything else. Mm-hmm. Eventually. So, if you haven't noticed quite yet, I'm basically ignoring everything on the ground, and that's definitely for a reason. We're gonna have to remove all of the leaves on the ground and in a second, actually, but first, I figured I would take down all of the trees. I'm thinking that this is going to be the border, like right here, cutting through the jungle, because these trees are kind of actually, like, naturally cleared in here, and it'll go straight back to, like, maybe this spot right here, and then we're gonna turn and go straight over this way. So, the plan is to actually leave these trees maybe this gigantic jungle tree but this one right here 
it has to go. Honestly, chopping these trees from the top down is the biggest move and best improvement that I've made ever. Like, in the world, it's so much easier. No need to spiral or anything like that. Just fly up to the top of the tree, chop it down, and then it's gone. B before it even got to exist. It's kind of sad. One thing that definitely does kind of upset me about all of this is the fact that I'm not taking the time to get all the vines. Now, I could do that, but... I mean, to be honest, it's gonna take a long time, and, and like I said, I feel bad about not taking every single vine, but I mean, I'm trying to finish this today. Let's be serious. Giant oak tree. I, I hate chopping down these giant oak trees, and I really didn't want to, but but sometimes it just has to be done. I mean, somebody's got to do it, right? Ah, uh, I don't feel good about this. This is what I get for touching gold. Okay, cut, cut, cut. Stop tree chopping. It's fun. It's nice. I enjoy it, but big development. Look at this. This is a zombie right here. This couldn't be any more perfect because we are so close to the butcher building. So we're taking a break from deforestation just for a second. Found a floating block, by the way. But yeah, yeah, yeah. we're going to take a break. Come with me, zombie. Right this way. Right this way. Come on, come on, come on. Yep, 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 yep. Okay. This is perfect. I don't know where the zombie came from. I don't think it's the nighttime. I mean, I know it's nighttime now, but I, I don't think the zombie spawned because of the nighttime you know so anyways though uh you come this way okay you're gonna walk right over that yeah yeah yep yep mm -hmm. perfect perfect now look in here zombie no come on you got this you got this yeah 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 okay 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 so let's see that zombie is stuck there now it's gonna forget about me it's gonna go over here and visit the villager h i'm sorry okay yeah yeah good okay cool now the zombie's holding an item so it's actually not gonna despawn this time like we got lucky with the fisher villager a little bit of a bummer there but it's okay so right over here all we need to do is get get the potion uh, which should be in here uh, splash potion of weakness okay perfect i as long as they don't miss that'll be good golden apple amazing okay this is like the best development ever. I did not expect this to happen, but this is so, so, so nice. So, uh, let's see. We land here, all right? Uh, open that up. Now, look, we have to be really careful here. We, we need the zombie. Yeah, 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 yeah. The zombie. Come back over here. Come back over here. Okay, well, look, it, it's fine. We can do it this way. We can open that right there. Yep. Mm hmm. Okay, yeah, this is kind of tricky, actually. Uh, there it is. There it is. Stay still. Stay still. Stay still. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, perfect. Perfect. That's gone. Now, all I need to do is this. There you go. Uh, you can have your window. Fine. Keep it. There you go. Uh, fireworks for celebration. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> there we go. Fix up the building. That's perfect. I'll go get some more glass. Oh, that's amazing. That's perfect. Now, enough with the nighttime. I, I don't trust it. Oh, oh, okay. Of course there's a monster nearby. Of course. Oh, this is so amazing. I did not expect that to work out like that. Like, that couldn't be better. The zombie was going to be the tricky part. I mean, my plan was to just let it spawn in, in the forest where we were working, you know, right? But... But, oh, that's so much easier just to find one randomly. Oh, that is that is so amazing. And it had that sweet suit of leather armor, too. Big rip there. Going to miss that a little bit, but but it's good. Also, I wonder if that door is going to be on the ground. It, just in case, I'm going to bring an extra door. Okay, so let's fix a window really quick. You don't see me. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Yeah, have your pink glass. That's fine. The door is on the floor in there, but I don't know if we're going to get in there in time. So we have this extra door. Now, it's really just a waiting game. And I guess... I mean, I guess. There's no need to technically stand over here. The zombie's fine. It's just going to queue her up, right? You're shaking. Yeah, yeah. It's just going to queue her up. So, I think that means we can get back to work over here, which, by the way, I'm actually almost done with chopping out all of the trees, and it looks like the land is kind of a hill. It, it slants this way towards that big mountain over there. That's going to be a little bit more relevant in a second, but it's good to know. Also, maybe it's a little OCD, I'll admit it, okay? But some of the trees, I I've been climbing up with like scaffolding or logs or whatever, and separating the leaves, because some of the trees, like, like these big oak trees, I want these to stay like surrounding, surrounding this area, but then some of the random jungle trees, yeah, they, they can definitely go, they they're good. And by good, I mean bad. They're actually very bad. Okay, so any progress? Oh, yes, good progress, good progress for sure. Okay, so that log can go away. You can go back open. Okay, perfect. And then the door goes right back in here. I haven't seen the villager actually leave the house quite yet. So that's kind of perfect. Now, 
wow, the trades. The trades are discounted, of course, as we know. Look at that. That's amazing. One raw pork chop into an emerald? Come on. That, that's, like, absurd. And and you? I'm sorry. I'm sorry, pig. You don't belong in the house. So you, you're the first test subject. Check this out. This is indeed legitimate right there. One raw pork chop to, to emerald. Oh, that's so cool. So what that means is that we have basically just created an absurd emerald farm uh, out of this villager because we have the pig crusher right there. We could always build more if we needed to, but uh, it, it gets better, much better. But also to check that out, we're going to have to level this villager up a little bit more. I'd like to go back over to the cow farm really quick just to see raw beef. It's just going to get us a ton of experience. See, the problem in this world is that it, it, it's good. It, it's good. And what I usually do with, with a cow farm is I breed the cows up. Not always, but usually. I, I breed the cows up, and then I take the beef and cook it up right away. So this time, the timing is kind of perfect here, actually. We're not going to cook it up. We'll just take it over and sell it. I think it's like three for a trade. I forget already. That's weird. The cows didn't seem to breed very well. I only got six beef. That's like really terrible, actually. But but we'll go with it. Oh, you do exit the building. You do exit the building sometimes. And then when you exit the building, you, you don't know how to get back in. That that makes sense for sure. Here you go, buddy. You, you can head back in now. All right. Yep. Now, I, I wonder if I put the door open and then I close it, is that going to change anything? Anyway, anyways, uh, the experience. Oh, that's so much experience. Oh, that's so much experience. But anyways, operation, remove the forest. Check this out. That's a lot of jungle wood. Way more jungle wood than I will probably ever need. This is what the forest is looking like now. So I have removed all of the trees I think that I need to that are above the ground. I might remove that big oak tree, but at the same time, that big oak tree is so nice looking. I, I'm not too sure. Anyways, though, it's time to start removing the things on the ground. Now, if I could, I would be making a netherite hoe right now, but uh, bad news here. I kind of used up the netherite. However, with that being said, I'm pretty sure, not 100% sure, I haven't done it in a while, but I'm pretty sure we can compost leaves. This is definitely way more oak leaves than I would ever need. However, I, if these are compostable, I throw them in a composter, turn them into bone meal, and that's pure profit. I could always use more bone meal because the skeleton farm, I, I, I love it, but I don't have it, unfortunately. Yeah, okay, wow, not gonna lie, kind of feel a little bit bad about that one, but it had to happen. So now, here we have a gigantic field. The jungle is now part of the plains biome, basically. Check that out. That's a lot of logs, and uh, this is even more leaves. That's like almost a chest full of jungle leaves, or, or oak leaves, and then a little bit of jungle leaves, too. So now, making really good progress, but I have to come in here and take out all of these extra jungle logs. These are definitely gonna be in the way. And I'm hearing mobs, like, like skeletons, but also spiders and, and things like that. If it were only skeletons, I would get excited, but I, I highly doubt it's a skeleton spawner. It's probably just a cave under here. In fact, it's definitely a cave under here, because check this out. Right over here is the entrance to a cave, and then if I were to climb this hill and, and go over here, uh, there is even more cave right there. This is going to be the corner of what we're setting up today, so it doesn't really affect us, but it is good to know. Okay, so I think I have basically all of the logs out of here now, which is another stack and a half of jungle logs. This is crazy. I'm getting so much materials from this thing. Now it's time to change the land a little bit, and this is the part that might be a little bit tricky, definitely a little bit time consuming. So uh, when we enter this area, which is like right here, when we enter it, we step up and then we go back down right away. So that's not good. I don't really like it when you have to jump up and then jump back down kind of pointlessly. So we're gonna start by digging out some of this land. Now, I, if I wanted to, I could come in here and, and make this all flat. That, that would work for what we're doing. It might even be easier, but it definitely wouldn't look as cool. The land uh, starts high and then slopes down this way. I think we should keep it like that. That is really, really cool. So we're gonna have rows of berries planted in here. Uh, they're gonna be like fancier than just a row, but for now, we'll, we'll say the first row starts there. Then we will skip two spaces, then we would have another row right there. Then uh, we could probably jump down like this and then probably end up doing the same thing. So we could have a row of berries uh, right there. Then we skip two and we raise that up a little bit. And then we have the same section. Now, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to step down and, and have maybe maybe one row this time over here. 
Okay, so now really quick, before I get ahead of myself, let's go ahead and catch everything up. So this whole first section needs to be raised up. We're going to raise this up all the way over to like this area over here where the jungle sort of, well, they, I guess starts again uh, or, or ends. Uh, I don't know. We're actually really close to the plains biome now, which means horses might be kind of useful. But anyways, this land gets raised up all the way to this side over here. I'll come back and fill that hole in in a little bit. Then this bit gets lowered down. The rest gets filled in even more. This hurts. This hurts a lot, but this tree is in the way. It, it's a beautiful, amazing tree. One of the best looking big oak trees I've ever seen. But it's in the way. Goodbye, tree. So not gonna lie, this next part kind of hurts me, but this is a lot of land to fill in. Like, like, a large space. And I'm actually, because I've been filling everything in so far, uh, starting to get a little bit low on dirt. Big problem, big rip. So we're gonna fill it in <laughs> in a, a different way, we'll say. Yeah, yeah, a, a different way. But in some spots, I will still fill it all the way in because I can. Okay, so I've compromised. I decided to fill in the first two layers entirely and most of the third layer, but not all of it. So here we have uh, room for two rows, then two more rows right over here. Then we're going to have another row. Now it's time for the next thing, which I think is going to be just like this previous one. We're going to do uh, room for one row all the way down. Then step down, same thing, three just like that. Step down, same thing, three just like that. And then finally, uh, one final time, I think we'll step down and then we'll just go flat the rest of the way across. So that's going to be a lot more dirt that I need. Uh, here's one right here in the sky, convenient. Uh, but yeah, that's going to go flat across all the way, and that should get us almost to that hill right there, which is kind of perfect. I do think that this tree, though, this tree is probably going to have to go too. And then on both sides, more so this side over here, I'm going to place dirt down and try and make this blend in so it looks like more natural, not so obviously man-made and flattened out. I mean, it's going to be pretty obvious, but yeah, if I can make it look a little bit better over there, that'd be cool. All right, I have to be honest. I'm not exactly, I, I wouldn't exactly say that I'm insanely proud of what I've done here, but I am proud of what I've done. This area is now flat and smooth. It's kind of hollow underneath, which, which scares me a lot. It hurts. It's definitely gonna be one of those things that I have to train myself to just not think about, but here we go. This area is now flat and basically ready to grow berries. So, sweet berries. Let's talk about farming sweet berries a little bit just because it's been so long. So. To, to farm sweet berries simple easy you just plant it on the ground let it grow and then it'll eventually be able to harvest sweet berries you can speed it up with bone meal I, I would be doing that but I don't have a bunch of bone meal so uh, that that would technically work there would be one annoying thing though which would be harvesting if we touch the sweet berry bush we get poked it, it's annoying there are however a couple different ways around this if we were to place blocks above this thing like slabs even trap doors we wouldn't be able to touch the sweet berry bush and we'd be safe that would work but I don't think it would look very good. I mean, we could make it work and we could definitely make it look good, but uh, there's an easier way to make it look better, I think. And that's gonna be right here. We place some blocks on the ground just like that. And then we put the sweet berries on top of those blocks. And then uh, if I grow these berry bushes up, I won't be able to touch them still, uh, but I don't have to put anything above them. So they'll be exposed from the sky, which I think would be really, really cool looking. Now, uh, the block that I should grow them on, definitely not grass. That would be lame. We could do dirt, but that would turn back into grass, which wouldn't be good. We could do coarse dirt, which looks great, but it's kind of expensive. But hey, uh, what about Podsol? Yes, Podsol. Absolutely. This is what I'm thinking. We have rows of sweet berry bushes, like from here, going all the way down. And then we have another one here, all the way down, there, all the way down. You know, I, on all of these flat sections, rows of sweet berry bushes going all the way down. And these rows are built out of Podsol blocks. And then to make the Podsol blocks look even better, oh, easy. It's going to be really, really expensive, like absurdly expensive. But I think we do a bunch of spruce trap doors in here on the sides of these things. And then look at that right there. We have like dirt, like planting dirt right there. And the sweet berry bushes on top of it. And then they grow. And then to harvest them, easy. All that I do is basically AFK, hold down the use button and walk down these whole things. Imagining sweet berry bushes right here. I'd be harvesting everything. And then all I need to do is walk back and I'd be picking them all up, which is really cool. And then any of the land on top of the block, like, like let's say right there, I would be able to pick up from here or even the other side if I could to reach it so basically the design is 120 percent absolutely flawless but uh there is one big thing and that's gonna be podzol i i don't have a lot of podzol so what i think we want to do here is fly off into the sunset really wait those are not sunflower 
Those are sunflowers that have been sitting by our base the whole time. I think I just died. Mark that as the first death of the series. Um, the pod, yeah, I, yeah, I call it pod salt. It, it's sunflowers have literally been basically within distance of our base and we flew like five maps away for, for sunflowers. Okay, well we found sunflowers. Anyways, I was saying, we fly far away from the base, like probably over here. This is pretty far away from the base. Then we land and, and we're looking for a plains biome. So, so this biome right here definitely qualifies. So then, then we take spruce saplings, plant them down, then grab bone meal, bone meal the spruce saplings, pods all, all over the place, which is easy. Soak, touch it, pick it up. Now I have a bunch of pods all, uh, pretty much for free. And then to help myself get a bunch of spruce wood for those trap doors, because trap doors are absurdly expensive. All that I need to do is chop down these trees. And then I don't even have to worry about putting the dirt back because this is off in the distance. I'll never build over here. It's just a big area. Uh-huh, mm-hmm, that's what I'm thinking. That's how I'm gonna get a bunch of spruce wood and a bunch of pods all at the same time. But I'm kind of in pain. I'm kind of in pain. I mean, I'm excited, don't get me wrong. I'm happy that we have sunflowers, they're really good. In fact, the inventory is probably gonna clog up a lot here, so might as well like get good about putting stuff away, but they were that close to our base the whole time. They they were that close. Could that happen with like a skeleton spawner, please? Like, like I find one insanely close to my base the whole time? If that would happen, then then that would be amazing, and I would be so happy. I I can't believe it. Have, they've been sitting there the whole time, and none of you told me. Really, you're shaking my head. SMH my head. Really. All right, but tree number one is done. We're gonna let those leaves decay so we can get more saplings just in case. Time for tree number two. Same exact thing. We'll move a little bit of a ways away. Bone meal is gonna grow big. That's perfect. I hear lots of lots of mobs. That's fine. We'll just hurry up. Easy, easy, easy. Pick up all the pod salt, chop down the tree, and then we do it again. Tree number three. It's kind of small. My inventory is full. This is crazy. Uh, that's a lot of pods, although we might almost be done. But first, tree number four. Perfect. Okay, so in terms of trees, saplings, all that type of stuff, this right here is what I have. Hopefully, this is going to be enough pod soul. So now, all we're gonna need to do is take that out and plant our rows. I think this spot right here is actually the perfect spot for the start of every row. That's gonna be good, so we'll line it up here, and then uh, let's find out how long each row is. 40. That's 40 right there 40 blocks per row that means 40 sweet berry plants per row and then i think when a sweet berry bush is fully grown you could get two or maybe three sweet berries from a single harvest so let's say i got three every single time that's four 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 hundred and twenty uh, sweet berries from one row i mean it would never happen that, that would be like absurd that, that would be like absolute best case scenario but wow 40 plants per row that's gonna be a lot of trap doors. I'm kind of afraid about that part. Um, hopefully we'll have enough pods all. <laughs> I, I don't know if we're gonna even have enough pods all. I, I might have to go back to the field, guys. This is crazy. I, I didn't realize how big this was. Okay, I'm, I'm down to the final two rows, but I'm thinking there is no way I'm gonna have enough. I only have a stack and 24 more. I, I might be close. Like, I'm gonna be really close. All that I'll need to do is grow one more spruce tree, and then I definitely should have enough. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. I take it all back. I take it all back. Of course. Of course I have enough. This is going to be perfect. I have over 40 left for this final row, so we're going to actually have a tiny bit of extra pods all. Oh, that's amazing. This, that worked out perfectly. Now, if only I could have, like, enough wood, that would be even better. But we're at the point in this build where I need to really start thinking about filling this thing in as well. So I don't really have a bunch of bone meal here. I have 30, 14 more bones, and then a little bit more in the storage building, but I'd rather not use all the bone meal up on this. So what I'm thinking about doing here is actually basically just letting these wheat berries grow and fill in slowly. Now what that's gonna mean is that we might not end up filling this in all the way before the end of the episode, but we're gonna get as close as possible. We're, we're gonna try, and then I'm gonna continue using this farm a couple times to, to make sure we can at least get this thing filled in. The nice thing about sweet berries, they grow really, really quickly. So, uh, I also am gonna have to break the habit of jumping up on the block like I just did there to pick up the sweet berry because that's definitely not what I meant to do. If I do that, I'm gonna take damage and it's gonna be pointless, and yeah, so I have to break that habit. Now, uh, sweet berry right there, look at that. That plant's already almost grown. That's crazy, but, oh, okay, cool. I do have more trapdoors. I was gonna say, 
that was like not a lot of trapdoors. The nice thing is, it's pretty easy to get a good rhythm going. All I have to do is just basically pace myself, place trapdoors, and get them in. It just takes a long time. And then I have to remember, I have to, I'm already starting to forget to turn around and harvest the sweet berries every once in a while. So let's see, one stack of logs turns into 64 and 22 more trap doors, but I had two extra pieces of wood, so it's going to be a little bit less than that. Check this out right here. One row planted, and that's a patrol. That's like the first patrol that I've seen in so long. That's wonderful. That's so cool. But I don't really have the time for this right now. I have to go chop down trees. Here it is, here it is, special moment, big moment right here. The final row of trap doors is actually being placed. I can't believe it. I seriously can't believe it. So I think in total I had to cut down maybe like, maybe like only 12 or so gigantic spruce trees, probably about, I didn't exactly keep track. But honestly, that's kind of surprising to me because I thought it would have been way more. Check all of these trap doors out. Yep, that's a lot of trap doors for sure. This farm is all about productivity. We want sweet berries and a lot of them fast, which is actually what this farm is already cranking out. Look at this thing uh, from two rows of harvest and, and these rows weren't even fully grown. I have over a stack and a half at this point of sweet berries. This thing it's a beast. So that's that. I definitely have to get more sweet berries for sure. And then I have to decide if I want to spend the time in and make the farm look better. I know though for today, I'm not going to do it. I might come back later. Oh, that's my bad. Sorry, potatoes and do that. But can I breed the cows? Mm hmm. I can kind of, but not really. Most of them are still children. Uh, that's a huge bummer. Well, I guess waiting it is. I don't really want to do this, uh, but we kind of have to. If we want to level the villager up, which definitely want to, we need more beef. Well, in the meantime, let's take a look at the comment of the day. Cave update generation versus this world from nobody. Yeah, so this is one that I kind of just wanted to answer in general. I'm sure I've got this question a few times, but this world, now that cave update generation is in the snapshots, am I going to update this world to the snapshots? The answer, no, definitely not. So we might still update this world to the snapshots to like check out stuff. But right now, honestly, I mean, the generation is amazing. I love it. Like I'm crazy obsessed with this stuff. But at the same time, there's really just not much actually in the snapshots. I mean, theoretically, if it were possible, we could update the world and check out the snapshots, but the, the caves would just be bigger. Like the new blocks aren't even in there yet. And of course, that's not even mentioning the, the biggest thing, uh, at least as of the 21W06A snapshot, you can't update old worlds actually. Now, eventually, I'm sure that's gonna change for sure, but that's that right now. So even if I wanted to, it would technically be impossible, but I don't really want to yet. Okay, while I wait for the cows to grow up, let's do a couple quick farm updates. Sugarcane farm, still need a better sugarcane farm. Can't believe I still have that thing. Bamboo farm is overflowing as expected. This bamboo needs to be moved out of there and over here. Remember that we can use this bamboo to make like a crazy amount of scaffolding if I wanted to, or I could use this bamboo to turn into sticks to actually sell to the Fletcher villager. Profit, easy. Egg farm is also overflowing. We should probably take these eggs like to the wither soon. That would probably be a good idea. And finally, last but not least, the cow farm. I think it's ready. It kind of sounds like it. Oh yeah, it's ready. All right, all right, cool. So now we can breed these cows up, hopefully get a decent amount of beef this time. It's like partially ready, it looks like. And then we could level that villager up. Okay, so I will call that a partial harvest. We have 12 beef, that's good. Now, since we last saw H, the peasant H, I actually traded with H once. I sold H some raw beef that I had. So with that being said, that's gonna put H at this spot right here. By the way, H's brain is immensely small. Couldn't figure out the door, kept getting trapped outside. So I put a fence gate and no outside. So H, 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 here we go, there we go, level up. What are we gonna have now? Uh, okay, the kelp trade, and we're halfway there already because I shift clicked that. Okay, that's amazing. Now all we need to do, ah, this is gonna be painful. This is gonna be painful. But I think we're gonna buy a bunch of that. All right, so there we go. Uh, ow, that was 16 emeralds, lots of experience, but H is now a master level butcher, and at the master level, Check this out. Sweet berries right there. Three sweet berries for an emerald. I think you, my friend, have a perfect deal right here. Look at this. We back out. The trade is locked. You could go ahead and restock, please. Uh, please restock. 
Mm -hmm. It will eventually restock and we will make even more profit. Look at that. All of those emeralds that we lost, it doesn't even matter anymore. Chicken, you can have it back. It's disgusting. I don't want it. So right here, this is possibly the easiest emerald operation that we have in the world now. So we walk over here and we would harvest the sweet berry farm, which remember is going to grow insanely fast. To be honest, by the time I'm done harvesting the farm entirely, like once it's entirely planted in, I get back up to the top and it honestly might even be ready to harvest again. So basically, this is going to be the move right here. We go down each row, we weave and, and harvest everything. And while we go down the row, if I move correctly, I'll have to get it down and practice a little bit. But if I move at the right speed, I think I'll be able to pick up most of the sweet berries that are thrown on the ground when I harvest this. Then all I have to do is go right down the road over here. I started getting in a path that needs a little bit more work, but go right down the path, right over to H right here. I can even stand. Okay, no, I have to go in the house. Uh, that's a bummer. But right here, do the trade. As long as H can refill their trades, like get over to the workstation, we are going to be golden. Those are going to be so easy to get so many emeralds. That's amazing. H, I appreciate you so much. But remember, you're not the best, H. Always keep that in check. You're not the best. I'm going to move this item frame. I don't know if this is confusing the villager or something. It seems to be having issues accessing the workstation. But that right there is probably going to do it for today's episode. So off camera, I actually have a lot of things that I need to get done this time. In between episodes, I plan to hopefully harvest this thing up again and again and again again and plant all of the sweet berries. I also have to think about the farm and decide if I want to actually change the farm and make it look better by removing this row of block on every single row. I, I just can't decide. So if you have a take, definitely let me know down in the comments below. Today, big shout out to my patrons, Archangel and Ground Crazy May. Thank you both so much for the support. It's been me. Like, subscribe, comment, and join notification gang today. 1000K. It's a long name, but that's my name. I'll see you next time.